and welcome to this quick tutorial which shows you how to put enemies on roofs and we're going to use it with stock assets. So very quickly we're going to go to the entities tab, so add new entity, we're going to go to the buildings tab and we're going to, for this occasion, the combat building. So we can drop that down like so. Next thing you want when you're putting enemies on above zero surfaces is a floor zone. So go into markers and select floor zone, place it roughly in the middle of your roof, press P so you can navigate these nodes just so you can represent the whole surface of the roof. Then the next thing you want is some enemies but before we do that let's just take a start marker, place it here and then we're going to give ourselves a fighting chance. So lots of bullets, some extra health, maybe a lot of health, in fact let's keep it looking like we got a lot. Apply changes. Now, like I said, we're going to want to add some enemies, so we will go to add new entity again. Characters. Let's pick some soldiers. So let's pick a uh, rocket man. So we'll have him rotated so he's facing the right way when the game first starts. And we'll maybe a masked soldier as well. well. We'll put a soldier up there. He has no way to get down, but this is the point of this little tutorial, just to show you that everything's. Uh, Pretty straightforward. So with all that in place, then we'll just do a save. Always a good idea to save early and save often. And ideally under different file names, then press test game. And when the game starts, they're on the roof. And they are not wasting any time. <laughs> so now they're patrolling the roof. But they, they essentially can't get off. The, there's no ladders, there's no waypoint stone so they'll just basically stay up there and they can't even see me now what you could do is have them stand on the spot so at the moment this rocket man is using the AI soldier RPG but if you look at the um, scripts available there might be one here we go RPG go it's essentially just asking him to stay pot so we'll try that and now we shouldn't be wandering around the the, the soldier guy the mass soldier could still wander around but he's gonna stay put <laughs> Just keep doing this damage. Get rid of this annoyance. Oh yeah. And get rid of that guy. Which is fine, but then is it fur? Because they're stuck on the roof. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Now remember, this is a pre existing building. Unlike the building editor where you can add stirs, because a pre existing asset, you're going to have to find some stirs asset that exactly matches this graphical style, the scaling and all the rest of it. If you're a 3D modeler you can do all that yourself. We often don't have the um, benefit of being skilled 3D modelers, we just have to read the asset library. So I'm going to pick something like this, wooden barricade, and the trick is I can rotate this now to make sort of a makeshift ramp if you will. So the trick will be to rotate it side and then Diagonal, then do page up, which will just move it up to the top, just so it touches that. Hold down shift to make a duplicate of it, and then page down in order to just touch the bottom there. Exactly. So now you actually have a very makeshift ramp. The reason I've done that is to show you one of the features of the floor zone and the AI pathfinding in general. If I press G to go into top down and then press that, I can create a little waypoint. Once waypoint is for you, if I hold down left shift and left click I can drag it up to the top and what that essentially does it creates a connection between this floor zone which is separate from the world and the floor which is the world full of AI and loveliness so now when I save and run we'll actually see a little bit more activity so you can see the soldier it wants to get past our guard <laughs> it just instantly gets shot by the rocket now the rocket man's pretty powerful, he won't shoot himself, his rockets are invulnerable to his own, he's got some armour on, but he is certainly dis destructive to everybody else in the vicinity and unfortunately the other guy got it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just get rid of him for you. So had he not been blown to smithereens, this mass soldier could easily run down this and also run back up the ramp. So you can connect the first floor uh, stories, uh, floor zone sorry, with the rest of the terrain. So essentially that is how you very quickly add enemies onto a roof using the floor zone marker.